All right, friends. Welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose Laravel and Laravel application. And in this video, we'll be working on building interactive dashboard functionality. So over here, instead of displaying a total appointments count and total users count, why not make it more interactive by using filters over here? So first of all, let me show you the demo of what we're going to build so that you will have some idea. So here we are displaying all appointments count and we can filter this count based on this status so over here we can filter this count based on the schedule appointments and here we got two appointments that are scheduled similarly we can get the closed one see how cool this is and i'm not writing any javascript to do this all this is done through liveware and we are not refreshing the page anymore see how cool this is also let's go to this users part and this can be very useful when you are working on applications where there are lots of users that get registered on a daily basis. And on the admin dashboards, we can add this functionality where admin can see how many users got registered today and how many users got registered on last 30 days, how many users got registered on last 60 days, and so on. And finally, let me show you one cool thing is I have added animations over here and let's see how it will look on solar network connections. So let me go to network tab and on slow 3G, let me filter this and you see it, this little animations over there. See how cool that is looking and we can filter this at the same time. See how beautiful it is looking and as I have already told that I haven't written in JavaScript to do this and this is done all through liveware. So in this video, we'll be working on this appointments part and in the next video, we'll be working on this users part. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's start from design. So let's remove this section. So let me go to dashboard.blade.psp file and over here, let's remove this row. Okay. Now let me refresh the page and it got removed. Let's change those text as well. So let's add dashboard and over here let's say dashboard as well. Okay. So now let's me let's add this. So let me copy this. It's flat this row and over here let's do edit html and then copy and then let's go over here and paste that okay now let's see let me refresh it and we got it so we don't need this free so let's remove that Over here this is the first one this is second one third and then fourth so let's remove this okay okay fine so let's change the text as well over here let's say appointments and then view appointments okay so let's add the link over here as well so that is route admin dot appointments okay if i click over there we are redirected to appointments perfect so now instead of displaying this over here Let's make this as a liveware component. So, okay. So first of all, let's open the terminal and let's do PSP artisan make liveware and then instead of admin slash dashboard slash let's say appointments count. 
get graphic so let me copy this section this column and then cut it from here and let's do liveware and which is inside of admins dot dashboard dot appointments count right and then let me go to admin sorry appointments count count and then let me paste it before pasting it let me replace it it is not here so let me paste it let's indent it properly and then we see it perfect so now let's go to appointments count component class and over here let's create a mock method and let's say this appointments count equals to 10 okay for now let's add this 10 over here so now let's define that public property so let's do public and then appointments count perfect so now let me refresh the page and instead of displaying that this static value let's use appointments count variable so over here let's do appointments count and if i refresh the page and we got 10 perfect before working on this section let's add filters over here so let me go to appointments count the letter psc file and over here let me add a new div and inside of this div let me cut this one and then paste it let's indent it properly okay so over here let's add a select i think we don't need this so instead of select let's add options and then first option will be all second will be schedule and then third option will be closed okay now let me refresh it and we see it it's properly indented over here so let's use display of flex the flex and then justify content between okay perfect let's change this height so let me go to select and let's add inline styling height of let's say 2 rem okay nice and if i click over here we see this black outline so for that outline let's do outline 2 pixel solid transparent okay now it is transparent perfect so let's add the padding over here so let's do that using class padding x of let's say one and profit let's add rounded corner over here so let's do rounded fine and then let's remove the border as well or zero and it is looking pretty good okay so now when someone change this we need to change this count as well okay so to do that let's listen for the wire sense event using wire sense and we can listen for that change event and while changing let's call a method called get appointments count and we need to pass the selected value so to pass the selected values 
we can simply do event dot target dot value okay so let's create this method on our component class over here let's say let's create that method and it will receive the status for now let's dial down the status let me refresh it and then if i select this schedule and we are dying from that status let's say it's closed and it is working perfect so now let's add logic over here so for now let's do this appointments count equals to appointment and then count we are currently counting all these appointments so let's try this we schedule and we get six perfect so instead of displaying this 10 by default let's call this get appointments count method so let's do that this get appointments count now if i refresh the page is saying few arguments so by default let's make this as null and we got over all six appointments available so now uh, when there is status let's say let's add this on query so that we can add those queries on the next line so we can count and on the middle let's say when there is a status when there is status then we can pass closer as a second argument so let's pass the closer function and then the will receive the query and then status okay and over here we can return query where status is the past status right and then let's add semicolon and if i refresh the page and let's test this out now there is total six appointments if i change this to schedule and we got to schedule point if i select the closed we got four closed appointments and all is six and it is working perfectly fine so finally let's see how it will look on the slow network connections and we can add the animations to fix that okay so let's do slow 3g and if i select the schedule and we don't get any feedback this is not good right let's make it more user friendly by adding animation over here so let's do that so let's go to load awesome website and let's use this animation called ball bit okay let's use this one let me copy this and let's create a new component file and then let me paste it over there so let me go to resources views components let me add a new folder called animations and inside this folder let me create a new file called ball bit dot blade dot psp and inside that file let me paste that code and we need to paste the css code as well so let me go over here let me copy this and then let me copy this first and then over here let's post to the stack call styles right and let me show you that we have already created this stack called styles on our app.play.psv file over here right and then let me add the style tag and then paste it over here perfect and then let me close this and let's go to appointments count and then over here let's do x let's use the component syntax for x dot animations and then and the name of the animation is ball bit right 
and instead of dot we need to do dash now let me refresh the page and let me remove this to not throttling and we see that animation perfect so we need to show that animation when it is loading right so let's use wired loading directory so let's wrap this set up div let's indent it and then we need to show this if it is loading if it, if we are sending ajax request to the server right so now let me refresh the page again and we don't see that animation perfect and then let's make this slow 3g and if i change the status and we see that loading indicator but we are not hiding that number right so let's hide that number on loading so to do that we can simply do while loading and there is a modifier called remove and while it is loading we, uh, we will be removing this text right so let me try one more time let's say slow 3g and then we change the status we see beautiful loading indicator and then we see finally the count which is perfect so let me remove this and if we change this and on the first network connections this loading indicator is blinking so we don't need to make that happen so we can add the delay modifier so wire loading and then let's add a delay modifier over here so that it will be get called only if it takes greater than 200 milliseconds right so if i change this we are still getting that we need to add over here as well delay and then over here as well i said delay set remove and it is perfect so i hope you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and in the next video we'll be working on users part so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next video Thank you.